welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, thank you for watching. Please hit that like and uh, that subscribe button. Never sees them on now. So if we ever have to do this again, he wouldn't drop that motor twice now, would he? Oh, oh, what'd you say? What did you say? You never know. You just never know. Seasons. Little crisp crossums, apple sauce. There's that, and might as well, since I got it off, paint them, paint them up too. Make them look all per 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 per. Paint them up, make them look pretty. Yeah, and make the own severity. Alright, we got the gasket already in place. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the uh the thing. The hood latches. I put on the hood latches. Now why ain't that on? Oh, I hit the wrong. Oh, ah. Huh? Ah! What? What? Need some geese. Okay, put the little geese in there. In the hole. In the Put the geese, put the geese, put the head of geese. There, it's all geesey. So then you gotta figure out how it all goes back together. <coughs> you figure it out. So I think the flexi compressionist washer goes on and then you see it's got a square it's kind of it's a not a square it's a uh mm, a, a, a gone it's that shape so if this was in that position this this would be locked in Uh oh. Of course, my compression washer trying to fall off. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just putting this thing on. Or very much attempting to. Yeah, like so. And I got the screw and the, or the bolt and the washer. Uh oh. I push it right back out of there, didn't I? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I will get it. I will be a winner. 
Remember I told you in that last video I got a Venus flytrap? I'm going to show you. I'll show you. He done caught two bugs. Eating away at them. They locked in there. They don't last long either because what they do, I didn't know this. The bug crawls in there. I guess they got these little hairs in, inside the trap part. And uh, we can't smell it. But them little hairs in there give off a scent that the bugs like. And then once that bug crawls in there and he says, and traps him, and you can see the bug, oh, I, I don't want to be in here. This ain't a good place. It can't be a good place up in here. Well, once he gets that bug, and I guess the bug, the more the bug wiggles, the Venus trap part actually seals the edges. So it snuffs him out. Kind of suffocates him. Nasty little player. Nasty. Nasty. So the traps are open. So hopefully you can see that. But yeah, it's done caught a couple of bugs. Make sure you're in there. Yeah, you can see that guy. You got the big bug in there. There they are. The Venus fly trap. Okay, on these two forward nuts, I take a knife about like that that has a serrated blade and a long screwdriver. And then I take a big old blob of anises. Okay, and then what I do is I use the screwdriver to put pressure on the top of the nut and then I use the serrated blade to get it started. That's just how I try and do it. It seems to work pretty good most of the time. Wanted to do a spark check just because I have had the whole power head apart or off. So watch right in here. Good hot spark. Good the hot the sparky. Okay. Hey, it's me, Billy Rudd. I'm the best commercial fisherman in the whole North Territories. I was up at the dry goods depot. I ran into my cousin, Prospector Pete. He's my blood cousin. Four connected. He's the best prospector in the whole territory. He said he came by here to see you. He said he couldn't believe what he saw. He said you had busted up mercuries and American made Mercury's. Johnson's. American made Johnson's. Said you just looked like you took a sledgehammer to them. I thought I done told you about that. Us commercial fishermen, our outboards are sacred to us. You can't just be busting up perfectly good. American made outboards. I'm gonna look around here and if I see you've been busting them up, I'm gonna fix you. I'm gonna fix you right. Okay. So, she's for the most part back together. Um, Oh, move this hood. Understood. Okay, oh God. If you look right in here, you can see there's your stop. That's all you get 
when you're in neutral. You can only rev it that much. Now we go forward, it goes down, I can rev it all the way. Okay. Now let's go reverse. You can rev it up. So all that's working. And I can test it with my foot when I'm in forward neutral and so forth. There's your neutral down there. There's reverse. See the flywheel turning there. There's neutral again. There's forward. See the flywheel again. So she all shifts. All the linkages seem to be working. And uh, now. We're going to do something he couldn't do before. And that would be to put on the bonnet of the Charity Johnson's with its brand new with its brand new lower cow pan. And we wipe it down, make it look all pretty, give her some loving. Yeah. And so, there you go. A pretty, all put back together, Johnson. Dirty. Well, there's my plum tree a plumbing. If you look right in there, right there's a bunch. There's one. Up oh, there's one. If you look right in there, you can see some plums right there. If you look right up there, you can see a bunch. Oh, sorry about that. There's a bunch of them in there. She's loaded. It's gonna be a good year for the plums. Now, what else we got going around? Huh. Those are red currants. Yummy. She loaded up too. Look back in there, there's red currants. I got to get picking. Man, look at them raspberries. See all them raspberries? I got to get picking. Look at them all. Getting so heavy, it's pulling the bushes down. They bounce pretty, you know, back pretty good after that winter. So, the raspberries, they're burying really good. Thick in there. What else we got going? So you gotta lift these to see them. Look how heavy these are. Them are black currants. All in there. Look at all them. Black currants. They stretch all through here. More black currants. Just mixed right in with the raspberries and all. There's more raspberries. Bunch of them in there. Bunch of raspberries. But I got these. These are one of my favorites. See them big old berries? Yummy. Yummy. You know what them are? Them is called gooseberries. And I like them because they're really sour and tart. They'll get almost black colored when they get really ripe. And you gotta watch these bushes because they got pricklies on them. But if you can see, spitworms ate my leaves off, but it don't affect the berries none. And, uh, and the leaves are starting to grow back. They call them sp spitworms or something like that. But the goose and berries. They're good. And you can see my K 
caribou antlers up there and my moose rack right there all painted up and pretty and then old spawning salmon still ain't got around to his replacement yet and there's the front of the house all the way from the plum trees, the red currants, black currants, raspberries, apple tree, rose bush, josta berry, plum tree, gooseberry, and a badly spawning salmon. And if you look past the apple tree right there, through the spruce trees, what you're looking at is the Pacific Ocean. That would be the mighty Pacific Ocean right there in the backyard. Fret is a lonely porch frog. He sits out on my steps. Fret wants to find him a girlfriend from, but Fred ain't found one yet. Yeah, Fred ain't found a girlfriend frog yet. Well, Fred says he's gonna leave this place, never gonna look back. But every time I come outside, Fred's right where he's at. Someday Fred hops away I hope he finds true love Until then Fred's gonna do You know What old Fred does Predict the weather Set on my step I hope He finds true love Yeah I sometimes feel sorry Need a haircut, Fret. Well, let's see what we get here. Already primed it. Clear out. Hey, okay, so 
there she is, a pretty little Johnson once again. Um, and as stated when I did the mercury that was bolted to the back of the boat that had been dropped or whatnot, um, I can't guarantee these repairs. And you say, why not? And I say because when you get impact damage like that, um, well, I'll show you. When I got to digging around in that thing, pulling the uh, power head, this is the gear shift safety interlock deal that goes up and down as you shift. This will pop up. There's a spring here and a spring here. When this thing got dropped, pow, that broke off. So I had to replace that. And from what I understand, this engine was laying in the boat. And when it was brought to me, and I'm sure while it was laying in the boat being loaded or whatever, they had the bonnet on the thing. And to give you an idea what impact damage can do, that's the way I found the spark plug. It literally, from the fall, snapped that spark plug. Um, and, and that's the thing about impact damage like that. It, it travels. So something gets hit hard like that, the engine, you know, wasn't running, wasn't mounted to a boat, from what I understand was just laying in there, but it took a, a big hit, literally breaking one of the spark plugs screwed into it. And then I found a busted motor mount, one of these anti-vibration motor mounts that hold the recoil starter on. Impact damage. So that's why I won't guarantee repairs um, on a motor that's taking a hit like this because uh, it uh, that that sudden impact like that can break things all up all up through it. I didn't find anything else broken, but uh, she had some broken bits, and uh, that's fact. So. She's a runner. She runs once again. She looks good. Um, all put back together. And uh, that's going to be a wrap on this one. And thank you for watching. More vids are coming on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass. <laughs>